Being anxious to reach Philadelphia, the present seat of government, before the rising of Congress, we shall though reluctantly quit New York in a few days. We meet here with much attention and kindness. Our room is crowded all the morning and our dinner invitations could not be accepted in a month's residence. We met here the present governor, Mr J, formerly American minister to Great Britain and the framer of the British Treaty. His appearance is rather singular, in dress and manner strikingly like a Quaker. His eye penetrating, his conversation sensible and intelligent, his deportment grave, and though his political character is firm and decided, there seems to be a general indecision of expressing his sentiments. I visited Mrs J, who, as the wife to the governor, was entitled to it, Otherwise, it is the fashion here, as in England, that strangers receive the first visit. Mrs J's claim was strengthened by her being confined to her chamber with a hurt in her leg. I found her young and pretty, and more affable than is common amongst her countrywomen. We were visited by, and very frequently met, another man of eminence in this country, Colonel Hamilton, once Secretary of the Treasury and the framer of the funding system adopted in this country, author also, or rather, editor of the publication called The Federalist. Colonel Hamilton is by birth a West Indian, by profession a lawyer, and has retired from public business to the practice of his profession. He is lively and animated in conversation, gallant in his manners, and sometimes brilliant in his sallies. His political conduct has created him many enemies and brought upon him unjustly much obloquy. He is, however, a great support to the federal constitution.